You ever 360'd into going straight? <clears throat> I imagine that's possible. <laughs> that's where we're going. Everybody wants to flip a 180. You don't. Yeah. You don't. Actually, we're what what create what is in front of you is from the source of who you are. And to continue to continue in that direction, once this is known and this does not happen, then all that is not fades away. All pendulums go and, oh, you'll find yourself at all stages of grief, finding yourself at, from materialization to the upturn, to the depression, to the <laughs> anger. To the doubt, to the shock, all those moments, all it just in the event somebody's ever felt psychosis in the past. I have this is and feels curious to sit in that and go, huh. Psychosis was the closest thing I ever felt real. Mm -hmm. And now to feel into that. <laughs> no delusions of grandeur. I trace my godly, I've traced myself to my godly origins and my godly estate, fertilization to last breath, all present and accounted for. <laughs> Anything hung upon my godly essence and my godly estate is a trespass. And I'm able to prove it in all places of law, Black's Law. Why Black's Law? The ne Book of the Dead, necromancy, really? None of my business. All rise, why? Because the, that's the, the, the ending of day court, and it's night court now. Night court! Was that theme song? That night court? Funny show back in the 80s. I don't remember. I, I don't either, but I hear it gone every once in a while. Gosh, the wicked shit that they would do. Treat each other that way. Anywho, lunatics. Because we're all lunatics, apparently. Because attorneys were created for those who were incapable of mentally speaking for themselves. And not a dead person. A dead person is unable to speak for themselves because they're dead. So they're required to be represented. Represent means to... It's a, a puppet for the dead. That's what representing means. So unless you're able to present yourself as a real man to claim your own court, to wear the suit of the sovereign, to walk into maritime law and know that all of them are your public servants and you are God at that moment because you are in that estate. You found your fatherly origin. Not just your dad and your mom, but your mom, that essence of father, that Zeus coming in, <laughs> whatever that is, right? All I know is that's it, and they don't have it anymore. So knowing that, how how do you feel? Liberated, liberation. There's a, sense of wholeness of knowing that I can just be me and experience this moment by moment. That in and of itself dissolves so much. We're still going to witness it because it is the nature of it is the nature, well, no, it's not. It is the nature of that specific pe pendulum, but it's not the nature of this place. I 
can you feel the difference between what's not you and what's what is? Looking back, has any of that been you? The way that you acted, the thoughts that you thought, the things that you believed in? So much of it, no. Yeah. She feels like a puppet. Like is the correct <laughs> word. She feels like. Mm -hmm. And would you say that you knew that you were a puppet? No. As a living woman who is able to at any moment to say, and it's up to you, because this is a perspective, <laughs> and, and this is the wild part about it, is that no one has to claim, someone is able to claim a second coming and able to claim a birth certificate. They don't have to. Because it's when they realize that the accretion is a placenta, which is bread, <laughs> and that's the bread and the blood of Christ, and they realize that that accretion is the Lamb of God, which is Jesus. And they, why do they put the Jesus in a manger? Oh, yeah. Because that's where placentas go, because they're animal feed. It's animal food. It's what the animals eat. And to realize that all of Christianity, the control of Christ, or is it Christos? wonder what's in the rest of that bag, right? wonder if that might be after water. I wonder if there's some oils that come through. Christos. Curious, and to wonder where that gland is and how that will feel once we, I do. I know my God, how my God, oh shit, oh my, how, how, oh, how. Oh. I don't know how it's going to feel. I don't know how, and what an interesting curiosity of feeling of, because what is the God the estate? Is there even temperature anymore? Does it, does it chill you to the core? And were those chills even... Because <laughs> animals don't. What do they feel about cold or warm or whatever? They're just out there. They're doing their thing. For the most part, until... So, I mean... <laughs> I mean, what, what does happen? I mean, animals, I mean, they, they do what they require to do. They freeze, they hibernate. They become reanimated, whatever it is. Who's to say we don't do the same thing? All this stuff, it's, wow, what the fuck? There's these feelings of now what the fuck? And while we're all feeling into this, what I know is that there's some place somewhere that already exists that we're all going to get together in the private, living men and women coming together and conversating about these and really getting curious on, okay, well, I found this about independently protected person. I know this about law. I listened to all of Curtis R. Kallenbach's material on New Word Order. That's it on Spotify or BuzzFeed, or there's a bunch of different platforms. Knowing law common to I as a living man and being able to express law and speak law and know that there's no such thing as dead. <laughs> There's no such thing as taxes. There's no such thing as currency and money. So what do, What the fuck do we all do now? Because as a foreigner, you have no money. You're coming into a foreign land. In the event that there was a war, which there was, and now you're on as an independently protected person, you're coming on to this. Where's your, re, where's what's been reserved for those people? What assets and, and those things? Where's your godly estate and what the fuck? And coming together and having these conversations live and going, you know, I was thinking about this. I would wonder what that answer is. And I wonder about this. And I wonder about this feeling. I've had this feeling too. Have you also had this feeling? Yeah, I have had this feeling. 
and going, okay, so we're in agreement that sight, smell, touch, taste, and doesn't is not is a fracture. What does that what does that whole why does one why is one required to have a thought when one knows? Why is one required to imagine the worst when one is able to have a feeling of whatever that is of discovering from a place of knowingness? If one has knowingness, then why even have feelings? Because we know it's for our highest benefit and good anyway, right? So all these all this stuff. Oh, you don't have any emotions. You're not a human being. For some reason, that feels more my nature. To not cry about it. To go, okay, now we're in the now. What do we do? Where are we now? And what's really here? I feel this feeling and fuck. What the fuck is love anyway, except evil backwards? What is it to live instead of evil? <laughs> Was it to be good when that is to be bought and sold, to be good, to be a good little boy, and to know that I was the one bought and traded in stocks? Why, you little chicken, why do we eat that? Why do we eat? <laughs> why steak? Why do we have steel around us? Why do we have iron float being and all these chemicals in chemtrails and living men are the only ones that can connect to the UN to do anything about it. Cause it's only the living men who are actually able to, cause it's a fucking war crime. And what do we do as living men? Who do we write to first? And, and where do we first go to claim our world? Where do we go? Cause this is it. And where we sit and we talk, and we don't shut up. Shut up. We show up and we don't stop talking. And that's it. And how do we provide? How are we provided for? Shadaya, I love you. I imagine with me out of the way, you won't shut the fuck up. And I love that. You go and you I imagine. And until you're done, wherever you are or wherever you speak to, and then they go. And this thing, I know. Thanks for watching this excerpt from the Self Trust Base Camp. Since you're here, I feel you found the guidance and inspiration you were calling in. Remember, the path of self trust is an ongoing adventure. That's why we're here as guides and glad you found us. If you've enjoyed today's spiritual exploration of self, remember to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay connected with our community and receive regular updates on the topics discussed in the weekly base camp convos. And if you appreciate the wisdom we've shared, please give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button. Your resonance helps guide others to join our mission to spread self-trust embodiment and optimal timeline attunement to all future reality transurfers. But the journey doesn't end here. Right now is a great time to connect with fellow seekers and share your insights in our Facebook group, The Self Trust Base Camp. So click the link in the description below to join the group today. You'll definitely want to join us. Together, we have materialized a supportive and nurturing environment for spiritual expansion. We await your arrival. Thank you again for joining us on this spiritual expedition in physical form. May your path be illuminated, and may you always trust in the wisdom that resides within you. Until our next soul-nourishing encounter, may you remember peace, joy, love, trust, and knowingness within yourself. And while you're here, check out these other videos to keep expanding. See you in the Self-Trust Base Camp.